kind of rods are best for jigging off a kayak or any kind of paddle craft? That's probably one of the questions I get asked most. So this is a short little video discuss the type of tackle that I use and it's been very successful for me. First of all, my favorite rod would be a Pin Conquer 7000, any size 7000 spinning reel. As long as it's very good quality and has a very strong drag, anywhere you want anywhere from 20 pounds plus of drag, and you want to make sure it holds at least 300 yards of line. I got 300 yards plus of uh, 30 pound test, and that's using braided line. Very important to use braided line when jigging. I have it on a Pen Torque series jigging rod. What's nice about these jigging rods, they're very lightweight. They fit just perfectly right underneath your arm butt like this, making it very easy to sit there and jig out of a kayak or off a paddle craft. Very important to have as light of an outfit as you can. Using a uh, 8000 or larger spinner, sometimes I find it it's very uh, gets uncomfortable. It's very large. 7000 seems to be a great size. This is my favorite pick for fishing for amberjacks or fishing for big wahoo or kingfish. I can say I can sit there, tighten the drag all the way down, lock it down. I have a good chance of pulling a big amberjack off a wreck with a rod like this. It's a great little outfit, 7000 series. You gotta remember when you're fishing the wrecks, I tighten the drag all the way down, lock it down for those amberjacks, and I'm able to pull a good size. I got up to 60 pound amberjack with this. And then if I'm going for kingfish, going for wahoo, gotta remember to loosen that drag up and uh, work, work the uh, jigs over ledges, my favorite spot for those type of fish and you have a good chance of that. It's a, my, uh, my favorite one to use. Another good outfit that I like to do use, and this is a 5000 series. I load it up with, uh, it'll hold over 300 yards of 20 pound braid. This is a great for blackfin tuna and uh, smaller species. I'm going for, you know, regular size kingfish, not really going for the big smokers. This is a little bit lighter in weight and uh, the 20 pound braid drops incredibly well in uh, water. The smaller diameter of the braid, the quicker these jigs are gonna drop to the bottom. So when I'm fishing for black fins and I mark something on my fish finder, I need to drop a jig down quick, let's say 100 feet and then rip it up. This is the outfit that I like to go to. Lightweight, again, using a, a pin torque jigging rod. Any kind of jigging rod works really well. One thing nice about them, they're lightweight. They're as light as some of the uh, rods that you're going to be using for casting for uh, trout and snook. And also these rods do make a great little uh, snook rod or tarpon rod along the beaches or you know pulling uh, big fish out from bridge pilings. These outfits are a great, great tool for either offshore or even inshore. Then after a while of jigging all day, you get tired of using one arm Generally, like I say, when you're fishing, you're dropping these jigs down, you're working them like this. These are concurved to fit right underneath your arm butt. Sitting in a kayak is a very comfortable way, very easy to jig. If you use a bigger rod, a boat rod, something like that, it does become uncomfortable. These are great little outfits. Then the time I want to switch hands, I'll go to a uh, traditional style. And this one is a Pen Phantom 12. A Phantom 12, Phantom 15, and maybe one larger works great. I like to keep the reel small. This will hold over 300 yards of 30 pound test braid. Again, it's a torque jigging rod. Has concurve that fits underneath my other arm, so if this arm gets tired from fighting fish, I can swap it over. Great little outfit. It's small, a little bit bigger than a bait casting reel, but I've gotten some big fish off of it. It's really good for torquing down, for bringing grouper, snapper, and amberjacks off the bottom. Again, I'm using 30 pound braid line. You can also go to 20 pound braid if you're going for some big, you know, if you're going for a Wahoo or something like that and you want an extra line of capacity on there, it'll be pushing close to 400 yards. But great outfit. The thing you want to do is make sure when you pick an outfit out, make sure the reel has got the gears and the guts to handle these big fish. Inexpensive reels will explode. I've blown up a few, quite a few reels trying to bring a big amberjack off the bottom. These reels here, 20 pound plus of drag, 20 to 30 and even more. Sometimes, like I say, you do lock it down and like I say, work that 
work that reel, just jigging it up. And uh, these are my three outfits that I usually carry when I'm going off and I'm, I'm jigging. Uh, usually I only carry two, especially if I'm on the paddle board. Great outfit, a lot of fun. 30 pound braid, my leader, I go to a 30 pound leader. And then sometimes I'll tie a 60 pound tippet or an 80 pound tippet if the kingfish are really, really biting good, I'll go to that. I do like the 30 pound test. I do not go much more than 30 pound tests on these reels. Number one, if I hook a big amberjack and I'm using 60 or 80 pound braid, yes, it gives me an opportunity to try to pull that, that fish up. But if he takes me down into the wreck and I anchor up on that wreck and it, it snags me on the bottom, I'm anchored. It's very, very difficult to break off. So having 30 pound test braid and tying it onto a 30 pound test leader and then tying on a thicker, you know, where the fish bite, so less chance of a, a break off there, it gives that break off point. I want a break off point from the leader to where this line comes in. Because if you hook up on a wreck, you're snagged on it, and if you have to, you can't break off and you gotta cut it off. There's sometimes up to 100 yards of uh, line just floating around the ocean. So I want that break off point near the lure. But great outfits. If you all haven't tried deep jigging, give it a try. It is a lot of fun. I'll cover more on the lures and uh, other aspects of deep jigging in another video. Thank you for watching.